In this video, we're going to review how to configure ODMS in standalone mode now that you've already installed the software. The first step will be to launch the program either from your desktop icon or wherever you installed it in the first place. When the software opens for the first time, the software configuration wizard should open automatically. If that doesn't happen, you can always launch it manually, which I'll do right now, by going to Tools, Show Setup Wizard, and that will launch the step-by-step -step guide. First, you need to select an author ID, click Next. If you're gonna share files on a share drive, you'll need this option up here to choose a path. But if you're just gonna share on your PC, you don't need that. Next, you have to decide if you want to use email, FTP, or both. In this case, I'll simply do an email setup and click Next. Enter the name of your profile, your username and email address, the account name, which is normally your email address, and your password. Here you can enter POP and SMTP, and select Advanced Settings. Check the My Outgoing Server Requires Authentication checkbox, because that almost always is the case. And again, we'll enter your account name and password. We'll click OK, and then click Next. If you have Dragon installed, you'll be prompted to set up your speech recognition profile. If you'd like more details on this, please go to the link below, which will walk you through the complete Dragon and ODMS setup. If you're okay sharing errors with our developers, you can select yes, but if you'd rather not, you can always click no. Select next and finish, and you have completed setting up ODMS R7 dictation module. If you'd like to learn more about your Olympus Professional Audio gear, please review the links below or contact us at proaudio@olympus.com. Thanks for watching.